Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your monthly reading for the month of September 2021. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. So keep in mind, guys, that this is a general reading. Yes. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, we could be talking to a cross watcher here. So that means that we could be talking to someone that is not a Pisces, but is involved with a Pisces or dating a Pisces and that could be watching for said Pisces. So either we could be talking to you Pisces or we could be talking to the other person. Yeah. So this is a general reading. So just keep in mind to take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I'm so sorry, guys. I just forgot that I forgot to turn my fan on. Hold on. Oh, wait, hold on. Ah, that's better. All right, Pisces, uh, let's get into this here and um, let's talk about your pre-shuffle energies. So it seems that you find yourself in the middle of a transformation. And I want to say, I feel like you're like dead center, like right in the thick of a massive transformation in your life. And, we, and really, all you need to focus on right now is whatever you can do to keep yourself balanced, to keep your mind in, ch in check, to just stay in a peaceful space. You have death that has come out here. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. However, maybe you have Scorpio in your chart. I'm not really sure why I'm being guided or led to say that. So that's probably going to resonate for someone on some certain level. But you have death here, okay, which does represent scorpionic energy. And then you have the two of pentacles with the four of swords. All right. So the focus for you right now, as you're in this time of transformation, I'm, I'm hearing change and upheaval. What you really need to be focusing on right now is maintaining your sense of balance I'm hearing also maintaining your sense of security, your sense of autonomy, which also would translate into your sense of sovereignty or cultivating a sense of sovereignty. You may need to just stay alone right now. Stay in your own solitude, be in a lot, of, like just, just keep to yourself right now to mitigate any sort of damage that could happen while you go through this change and this transformation. Um, at overall energy at the bottom of the deck right now, you do have the five of wands, which to me for you, Pisces, is representing the chaos of change, the cre creative chaos of change. OK, so because things may be really chaotic around you right now, that's another reason as to why you have got to focus on maintaining a sense of balance in your life right now. Just like if if all you can do. Pisces at this moment is just purely keep it together so that things stay afloat so that the things don't go awry. That's all you really need to do. Okay. Five of wands. Underneath the five of wands is the five of cups, the seven of cups, and then the ace of cups. All right. So you have, not only do you have the chaos of change here with the five of wands, but you also have all of the sorrow and the heartbreak or the grieving process that comes with going through a massive transformation or going through some sort of big change in your life. And then that leads you to the seven of cups, What the what ifs. And it's interesting that this is not showing up as the nine of swords. It's not based in fear. Okay, whatever confusion you may be experiencing right now, Pisces, it's not based in fear which is why it's coming, not coming out as the Nine of Swords. I'm not saying that wouldn't create any sort of fear for you, but it's not based in fear. But there's a lot of emotional confusion right now. For some of you, as you're going through this transition or transformation right now, Pisces, the Seven of Cups represents the confusion of all of the different, op different options or all of the potential options that come to mind as your energies are shifting through this change, through this transformation. And then underneath the Seven of Cups is the Ace of Cups, okay? So this is needing to focus on just loving yourself. Instead of getting all caught up in the, the what ifs, the confusion, all the different options that maybe you may find yourself surrounded by at this moment, instead, just focus on self-love, self-care, okay? Okay, Pisces. All right, cool. I'm going to move forward here. We're going to get it. We're going to continue. We're going to keep this popping, keep this moving, keep this pushing and uh, pushing and gushing, pushing and gushing. Where the hell did that come from? Anyway, uh, I'm going to reset and we're going to get into the rest of your reading. Yeah. Excellent, Pisces. Let's give this five shuffles. Here we go. 
one for my Piscean Sun, Moon, and Rising, maybe even Venus for the month of September 2021. This is two. Make sure to check your Sun, Moon, and Rising signs for a complete picture as to what could be happening for you during this time period. This is three. This is four. And this is five. All right, Pisces, let's cut the deck. Boop. All right, overall energy for you, Pisces. We've got the Five of Swords again. Wait. Okay, no, the Five of Swords did not come out for you yet. It actually, it came out for Cancer. Okay. But, okay, so we don't have the Five of Swords again, at least in terms of your energy. Uh, but we do have the Five of Swords here. Leaving the past behind. Old circumstances. Old sabotaging circumstances. Now I seem to have forgotten what we were even talking about in the pre-shuffle. Oh, that's right. The chaos and confusion of change. Transformation. Uh, what I feel like you're transforming out of, Pisces, is some pretty, some pretty destructive elements. Five of Swords, sabotage, self-sabotage actually comes to mind strongly. Underneath the Five of Swords is the Two of Wands. Underneath the Two of Wands is the Ten of Pentacles. And underneath the Ten of Pentacles, Pisces, is the Nine of Pentacles. So there is that actual representation of this energy of sovereignty, um, solitude, being self-sufficient, and all that kind of stuff. Nine of Pentacles. So what I feel like is happening here for you, Pisces, is that you are in a moment of great change and that is taking you out of some sort of what I'm hearing is self-deceptive or self-destructive tendencies. And that could very well be remaining in certain toxic situations in which other people have influence over you. There's a strong level of sovereignty here for you, a strong level of you getting to a point of emotional maturity, Pisces, where you can stand on your, well, okay, where you can stand on your own. Nine of Pentacles. Now, I understand Pentacles do not represent emotions. The Pentacles represent your physicality, your physical life, and all the physical, tangible things in your life. And often the Nine of Pentacles does represent being self-made, being an entrepreneur, make, being self-sufficient uh, in, in finances and all that stuff. But it also can, it can include an emotional aspect to it. Because when you embody this energy of being self-sufficient, of being sovereign, you also embody the energy of being able to think for yourself come to your own conclusions. And that's what we have here. So you have the Five of Swords, right? But then you have the Two of Wands. And then you also have the Ten of Pentacles. To me, the Ten of Pentacles can represent a lesson being learned or having been learned and or a life cycle coming to a close, okay? So what I feel like here, Pisces, is you are going through a massive transformation that is look, ultimately looking like you standing in your own sense of personal power. You have the Nine of Pentacles. And un underneath that, by the way, you have the Emperor here and the Queen of Wands and the Seven of Wands. Wow, Pisces, this is awesome. Because this is some hardcore, self-sufficient, standing on my own type shit, man. And that's beautiful. Like, I commend you for that. Uh, and for some of you, it may have been seemingly extra super difficult for you to get to this place where you can stand on your own and make your own damn decisions <laughs> in terms of what it is you are al in alignment with. Queen of Wands, the Emperor. The Queen of Wands, for me as a reader, represents your actual alignment. That which you get into alignment with, energetic vibrationally alignment with, energetic vibrational alignment with, excuse me, that you are w wanting to attract towards yourself. To me, that is the Queen of Wands. The Emperor is the, is the, exec is being in the executive position, saying, in this case, my way goes. That's what I'm hearing. I'm also hearing my way or the highway. But this is in terms of your own life. I don't feel like you're trying to make decisions for any uh, for other people. Quite frankly, Pisces, you could be coming out of a situation where other people were trying to make or were successfully making decisions for you. 
that seems to be coming to an end. Okay. Seven of Wands is uh, holding your ground. Asserting yourself or standing your ground and holding your boundaries. I like this, Pisces. All right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, let's move forward here. So we're going to get into the first half and the second half of your reading. The first half of your reading is going to look at the past effort energies up until the current moment. And then the second half of your reading is going to look at the current moment off into the future. Yes? Excellent. The first set of surrounding energies for you, Pisces, in the first half of your reading, you've got the Ace of Cups. There's that sense of unconditionally loving yourself again. All right. And that's what I feel like has kicked this this transformation off for you. It got to a point where you either decided to or understood that you needed to or figured out that you needed to or just plain was like, screw it, I'm going to love myself. But what kicked this off, this kicked this transformation off for you, Pisces, was a dis was a, a choice, a decision to love yourself and to honor and respect yourself for who you are. Eleven, eleven on the counter, not for who other people tell you to be. Okay, I, what I just heard was this was a pivotal point in your process. Ace of Cups is coupled with judgment. There you go. Yep, it was a pivotal point in your process because it was the moment when you heard the call or you understood what the universe was asking of you or asking you for or where the universe was leading you towards. And what I'm seeing in this Pisces is you were in the, the midst of of this Five of Swords energy, which is uh, an energy of um, self-sabotage, okay? Maybe backstabbing or sabotaging someone else um, or um, right fighting or um, self-destruction. What is, there was a specific word that I wanted to use here, but I think you guys understand the concept that I'm going for here. This was where you were, the Five of Swords energy. It was a lose-lose energy. It was not, ah, ah, um, my way or the highway, or like I did say with the Emperor, but not, crap, it keeps coming and going. Hold on a second, I'm going to get it. Uh, uh, us against the world mentality or an against the all odds type of mentality or situation like that type of destructive energy okay but what happened like and it feel it kind of feels like you've been in it for a long time pisces you've been like surrounded by this type of energy for a long time but you finally got to the point where you started to stand on your own and think for yourself nine of pentacles and so now you come to this point where it's like okay i want this to end ten of pentacles or this is about to come to an end ten of pentacles or i have learned the lesson of this situation here ten of pentacles which would all ultimately bring the end of the circumstance right and now you've got a choice to make well, that was all kicked off by the universe calling at you, sending you the message, hey, Pisces, it's time that you love yourself. And you woke up and were like, you know what, spirit? I think you're right. Bing. <laughs> cool. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Pisces, in the first half of your reading, you have, well, there you go. Well, shit, Pisces, there you go, the world. You finally listened to the call. Look, you have progress from the from judgment, which is card number 20, to the world, which is card number 21. So you finally listened to the call. Well, maybe not. Maybe I shouldn't say it that way. You heard the call. Like, you heard the phone ring. You picked it up. Spirit said, hey, Pisces, time to love yourself. And you were like, you know what, Spirit? You're right. Thanks for the message. Click. And thus we have the ending of the situations, the life circumstances of turmoil. I'm not going to say that your life is going to be completely free of turmoil for like forever moving forward, but at least this form of it, right? This cycle is coming to a close. The world is coupled with the Ace of Wands. It's coming to a close because you're finally starting to pick up the wand of inspiration to bring it to a close. And that all comes from this Ace of Cups energy of you. Uh, what I'm hearing is divine understanding unconditional love and loving yourself okay this is excellent pisces your challenge in the first half of your reading is the three of wands well where do we go from here but what i'm feeling specifically for you pisces is that in relation to the past of this situation let's just talk about this situation as a whole like uh, this situation specifically however this could have 
there, there could be other instances or other experience that are kind of related to this, but let's just talk about this situation specifically. What I feel like the challenge here for you is that you understand at least to a certain degree or to a certain extent where it is you want to be moving towards in the future, having come out of this situation. Three of Wands, where are we going from here? Is the question that I get with this card. Given everything that just happened and everything that's coming to a close, right? This chapter that we seem to be completing in our lives right now, where do we go from here? And where you're going from here, from some of you, you have a, great, a strong idea as to where you wanna go, how you wanna move, how you wanna live your life, or what it is you wanna work on manifesting moving forward because of what this situation taught you. For some of you, this understanding of how it is you wanna move forward is directly related to this situation. For others of you, you have to figure that out still. Like you're sitting there saying to yourself, okay, well, I know I want to end this situation, but what, what does that mean moving forward? Like, what does that mean for me afterwards? Okay. Three of Wands is coupled with the Queen of Pentacles. So now for, like I said, Pisces, for some of you, this is already an understanding that of that you have within you, of where you want to go, how it is you want to move, what it is you want to manifest after having been completed this life circumstance, okay? For others of you, this is still a question in your mind, and that's why it's, well, it's either the challenge because this is what you're, tra you're tasked with, okay? You know where you want to go, and so now the challenge is following through with that. For others of you, the challenge here is figuring out where you want to go from here. But either way, this is directly related to your sense of self-worth, Queen of Pentacles. So if you already know or under, already understand how it is you want to move forward from here, it's from a basis of what it is you have to offer, what it is you have to bring to the table. For If you're not sure yet, if you don't know yet, then focus on your worth. Focus on your sense of self-worth, what it is you are capable of, what it is you know you have to offer, and make your moves accordingly, okay? Your closing message or potential outcome, Pisces, in the first half of your reading. You got the Eight of Cups, which actually did come out for Cancer as well uh, in their pre-shuffle. But okay, okay, Pisces. So you are you're moving forward, stepping away from some long-standing circumstances, or maybe some toxic individuals or toxic situations. Excellent. Eight of Cups is coupled with. Ooh, the Knight of Swords and fighting back in the process. Either you're fighting back in the process or, well, no, no, you're fighting back in the process. I don't feel like you're looking for a bite, a battle or a looking for a fight, Pisces. I just feel like you are armed and prepared to fight your way out of this. Okay, I'll say that again. What I feel like this is saying, your closing message or potential outcome, Pisces, and this actually could be what is fortifying you, what is making you so strong, what is helping you get through this. What And also, I feel like it's giving you a vote of confidence, okay? A vote of confidence, whatever, whatever that is. But you are armed and armored in order to move forward. In case you have to fight any battles, in case you have to fight any demons, in case you have to chop some heads off of some hydras or some shit, some demons in the process, you're prepared. Doesn't mean you're looking for a fight, but should ever, but should one step to you, you're ready for it. Beautiful. And that is all coming from this sense of sovereignty and independence that you have cultivated up until this point. That is even beginning to help you, well, that is even helping you move forward to begin with. I like it. Let's move forward here, Pisces. We're going to get into the second half of your reading, yes? So we're going to look at the, uh, the, the, the current energies, current surrounding energies, off into the future, yes? First set of surrounding energies for you, Pisces, in the second half of your reading, you have, well, the Ten of Swords. This is good. All right, so again, you have the Ten of Swords, but th this is literally continuing to confirm that the, the struggle is over, or at least it's coming to an end. That's what I'm hearing for you. The Ten of Swords is coupled with the Six of Cups, the past. Yes, the struggle is over. 
or at least is coming to an end. And what I'm getting specifically here for you, Pisces, in terms of the Six of Cups, which is representing the past, this is, this is what I'm feeling here is a very similar energy to the Seven of Pentacles, in which, or of which, whichever is proper grammar, <laughs> um, you learned a great deal here in terms of these past circumstances and understandings. But it's not just about like what the Seven of Pentacles would represent in terms of figuring out how you want to move forward to get the harvest that you desire, having reached this checkpoint. For you here, Pisces, the Ten of Swords with the Six of Cups is representing a literal end to past drama or past circumstances or past situations. I did hear specifically past situationships. Take that as it resonates, yeah? Everybody's situation is going to be different. The specifics of everyone's situation is going to be different. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Pisces, in the second half of your reading, you have, ah, the Ten of Cups. What I'm hearing for this, Pisces, is that you are moving forward towards happiness, whatever that means for you. There are a lot of tens here. There are a lot of completions here for you, Pisces. This is good. You have the Ten of Pentacles. You had the Ten of Swords show up twice. You have the world, you have judgment, and you have the Ten of Cups now. That's a lot of completion energies. It's beautiful. Ten of Cups is coupled with the Hermit. So yes, you are moving towards happiness and contentment, but it's happiness and contentment that vibes with you, that looks the way that would be in best alignment to you, not anyone else. And what I'm hearing here is that this is Source's guidance. Spirit just said, this is for you specifically, Eric, them saying that, that I'm receiving sources guidance for you. But I was also, I feel like I was also led to say it out loud because you needed to hear it also. Whomever is listening to this message and resonating with this right now, you need to understand that this is sources guidance. If you are, if you are new to me, if you don't know who I am yet, hi, my name is Eric. It's wonderful to meet you. But I am an individual that is a channel, and I, I, I specifically open my channeling abilities for the guidance from God Source Creator to come in here, all right? So if you're, if you're tuning into this message and it's resonating for you, then first of all, I'm getting that you've been hearing this all along, okay? This is only confirming what it is that you've already been receiving. But you also need to understand, you need that extra little bit of hearing that this is guidance that's coming directly from source, okay? Not your higher self, not the ascended masters, no God source creator. The origin of everything. Okay, cool. Moving forward, your challenge, Pisces, in the second half of your reading is the Four of Cups. But I don't think this Four of Cups energy is bad for you. Because your challenge here is moving away from that which you are no longer wanting to be involved with. Okay, some of you may face missing an opportunity. You're going back and forth on this. Should I, shouldn't I? Should I, shouldn't I? Should I, shouldn't I? And I feel like you're going to miss, you could potentially miss out on an opportunity. Some of you, not all of you. There are some within the collective that are resonating with this. And so what I'm getting here is that, and maybe this is why somebody needed to hear that this is Source's guidance. Because you have been getting this guidance for a while now, but you're still not sure about it. You're still unsure. You're still like, I don't know, God. I don't know, Source. And yet you're still unhappy where you find yourself. <laughs> but you're not taking up the guidance that you're being provided by Spirit. And you've been hearing it on your own and now you find yourself on my channel, whether you're new to me or not. Either way, you find yourself listening to this message and this is the same thing you've been hearing and you're still like, yeah, I don't know. Self-sabotage. You're only sabotaging yourself in the end. Four of Cups is coupled with the Page of Cups. This represents you, Pisces, because I see the pages and the knights as the mutable signs and in the suit of cups, which is water, that would be Pisces. 
It's like you have a new emotional reality on your doorstep, Pisces, and somebody here is still ruminating over it, not quite sure if they actually want to take this opportunity up. And for some of you, you're apprehensive because you are going, it feels like you're, well, not necessarily that it feels like. In some cases, you are. You're going to have to start over. You're going to have to start from the ground up. But keep in mind, Pisces, that you're not fully starting over. Like, you're still taking the experiences and the knowledge and wisdom that you have from this past life lesson that's coming to an end, Ten of Pentacles. You're still taking that with you. And you can use that to build and grow and mature your new emotional reality moving forward. Obviously, that's going to take time. But I think that's the problem. Somebody here might be being lazy, not wanting to start over, not wanting to build from the ground up. But you are, in fact, missing out on an opportunity there. Because, like I said, it's not fully starting over. It's starting, it's, it's starting again, but with new knowledge, new information to help you build better as you move forward. Okay, somebody has, is facing the potential of missing out on that op opportunity this time around. I'm not saying that you'll never get this opportunity again. It's just that why, uh, why wait and say, uh, I'll wait for the next round when you don't know when the next round is going to be and it's here in front of you right now, right? The, and somebody is sitting there saying, well, I'm not ready. I'm going to be honest with you, Pisces. You may never feel ready. Even Let's say you pass up this opportunity now. Six years down the road, another opportunity comes up for you and you still don't feel ready. And so you pass it up then. When are you actually going to feel ready? There is never a right time to do anything. Just go with it. Close it. Well, okay, wait, hold on. Wait, stop. Stop right there, Eric. Pump the brakes. I don't know if I agree with that statement. There is never a right time to do anything. But I think what's most, what's most important to say here is that divine timing is a thing. And divine timing will not necessarily line up with, with your ego's idea of timing. Make sense? Okay. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Pisces. In the second half of your reading, you have the Page of Pentacles. There you go. There's that new reality. There's that starting from the ground up. But keep in mind, Pisces, and I say this all the time when the Page of Pentacles comes out, because the Page of Pentacles represents getting into that commitment energy of starting something new. Okay. But, and also the Page of Pentacles for me as a reader represents um, stepping into a new reality and having to start from the ground up or having to put those training wheels back on until you get the hang of this new energetic vibration that you're in. And But keep in mind, and this is what I say with the Page of Pentacles all the time, you may be starting from the ground up or you may be green, okay? You may be the newbie all of a sudden or you may be the newbie again, but that doesn't mean that you lost or you lost the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding that you cultivated from the last cycle. OK, you are, in fact, bringing that with you. So now you have the opportunity to use that in terms of building from here, building from the ground up. You're not starting completely fresh and over like with like a complete, completely blank slate. OK. Page of Pentacles is coupled with ooh, shit, the Page of Swords, lots of pages. Um, but this is you, this is needing or working towards the understanding of Page of Pentacles, Page of Swords. So how do we build from now? What happened in the past? Where are we going in the future? And how do we make this work? This is using the intellect or literally using what you learned to build in a new cycle. Page of Pentacles, Page of Swords. Literally using what you've learned, Page of Swords, to build in a new cycle, Page of Pentacles. Yes? Excellent, Pisces. I'm going to close this reading out. I want to get Oracle Guidance for you from the Crystal Mandala deck. Yes? Excellent. Excellent. Five shuffles here. One. <laughs> this is two. This is three. This is four. And this is five. All right, Pisces. Closing Oracle Guidance for you. 
for my Piscean Sun, Moon, and Rising. Closing Oracle Guidance for this message for September. Okay. All right, you have card number 23, which does boil down to a five, which is a number of change. Ascended Master Jesus and Rosophia. Meaningful sacrifice. So already, Pisces, what this is saying to me is that, yes, there are some of you that are actually really hesitant or really resistant to starting over in some way. But what you're needing to understand is whatever sac sacrifice it looks like you're required to make, whatever it needs, whatever you are needing to let go of to clear out of your system in order to start over or in order to go through this transformation, there is a reason behind it. It's not like you're making some sort of petty sacrifice. No, it's meaningful. There is a reason for it. Yes? Yeah, I do. I definitely feel resistance to that for you. But okay, let's see what this card says specifically. Meaningful sacrifice. We bring you the blessing of meaningful sacrifice. To manifest your divine destiny, there are times when, quote, want, unquote, must give way to a greater need. If you, I'm sorry, it may feel as though you are being denied the very thing that you yearn for the most. However, when meaningful sacrifice is being asked of you, there is a far more generous and loving reality at play. What is being denied now will ultimately create the opportunity for far greater gain. This doesn't necessarily resolve the pain of unfulfilled desire in this moment, but it does soothe your soul with the understanding that if you feel denied, it is only so that your fulfillment can come about in a more extraordinary and generous expression in due course. Okay, Pisces, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so much. I hope you have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of October. Yes? Excellent. Take care. Bye. <laughs>